how to money you get money inside of a shop. Whoever had a new life, dating a and is stolen package that you don't need, this beginner friendly guy cover everything. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay. So let's get straight into it. The new get is a package manager for net.net. Think of it as an app, app store library and tools. Instead of writing everything from scratch, you can install a pre-built package like Entity Framework, Newton Software, JSON, Automapper, and so on. With just a few clicks. Okay. So to get us started, as you can see, I've got a Visual Studio 2026 open here. Let's go ahead and create a very simple project just for this video sake, okay? And I'll take you through everything that needs that you need to know in terms of the new get package, okay? So let's go ahead and click on create a new project. So let's for this video, let's go ahead and use a console app. Yeah. So obviously, if you don't know the console app, yeah, it's a project for creating a command line application that runs on the net. On Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. Okay, so let's go ahead and click next, and then you can configure your project details. But this is not necessary for this video, so let's go ahead and click next. And then you can also select additional information if you need. So now, as you can see, I've, now that we've got our project created for us here, first. Let's go ahead and actually um, look at the uh, new get. I mean, and look at how to manage our new get. So you can either click on the solution, right click on the solution, and then manage new get packages for solution, or you can go to the project level and right click on the project, and obviously you can manage new get packages for the project. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on that. So this is the uh, NuGet package manager for our uh, um, for our project console app too. Okay, so if we look at it here, got installed here. Yeah? This is basically all the packages that we've got installed for this project. Okay, and we've got updates. So if any project, I mean, if any library or package that we've installed needs an update, obviously they'll come under the updates. Go so, um, go that side and update it. Okay, and then the browse lets you browse the internet or the marketplace for library of you get packages to select what you get package that is applicable. Okay, and if we look at the package source here, yeah, this is where the um, packages are hosted. So as you can see, uh, you can select all for all the packages that are installed. Select Microsoft Visual Studio offline package. So these are the packages that are installed offline on your device. Or you can go, you can get it through the new get .org. Yeah, that's the website that you can get. So to come back to this here, let's come inside our program.cs here and let's write very simple stuff here to get us started. So we're going to create um, a very simple product class. Okay, so we've got this very simple. Class, then we we going um, going to very simple property side. So as you can see, we've got suggested property. Yeah, this is what we need. Yeah. So the next bit is we're going to also create um public uh, list high list. We're going to use a high list and. This will be for the products. Here we're gonna call it um, products. So this is why we've got created for us. So I'm just gonna.
So this is a very simple starter I've created. Obviously, a very simple product, and then a very simple list of the product where we sample product. Okay. So now, if we want to convert this this to a, um, a JSON, we obviously send it wherever wherever I want to send it. This is what we can. Okay. So uh, we can say uh, variable. So um, product or so get product. So this will be a, this product here. Yeah, we want to convert this product to um, um, a JSON. So we could say uh, console right line. So here there's there's a there's a new get package that will help us to just convert it straight up. Yeah. So we can go back to our new get packages and download something. So here we come to our browse. Yeah. This is where we can set any package that we want on the internet. So we can type in Newton. So once we type the Newton, there are everything. So we're going to use a Newton, we have Newton Soft.json. Okay. So if we look at the details here, we can get everything and all the information that we need. We're not going to look too much into that. So I'm just going to click on the install. And you have to accept the the lines in detail and whatnot. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, we've got the new newton.json in four, so we can use it inside our project. So I'm going to type newton. So, so as you can see here now, we've got it here. See, dot json dot um, So it's, uh, it's basically Newton soft Newton soft dot json dot serialize object Okay, so that's some small issue here. So I'm just going to move it here and then put it here. So need so obviously it's convert it uh, convert JSON. This is what we get. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it inside the console line. and then run it. So as we can see here now, we've got our product object serializing a JSON. So this is actually made ready to send send it to wherever you want to send it. So instead of writing our own serializer, we're able to use the Newton software JSON put a new get package. There are also a bunch of stuff that you can use, like I said earlier on, like the entity framework and automap and whatnot. Yeah. So now as you get yourself started, obviously this is an absolute beginner in terms of yeah, package or different. So now you can go ahead and expand your knowledge on this. And I'll make a follow-up video very soon I mean, on this topic in terms of getting into an advanced new get package, how to add it, then you get package also whatnot. Okay, so make sure you keep subscribed and keep reluctant. Once again, um, I, will, I will express my thanks to whoever does for the last part. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you give us a call coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, evening, after wherever you are. Peace.